Here's a look up close at my three rail work. Now in the in the areas that I have managed to paint it, I couldn't decide whether I should rub the paint off or leave it on that third rail. What do you think? Any advice? They usually pr look pretty dark and black when I see them in the running videos, but standing up close to one and looking at it might be quite different. So if somebody could give me some guidance on that, that would be great. I can easily rub it off, rub the paint off of them, and they'll be, they'll look just like the other nickel silver rails next to them. While we're over here, I have purchased a, an apartment uh, building tower to go right there on that corner. If I have to move this building or something, that's not a big deal. But I'm going to build it there. It'll be, uh, it'll open onto the the street here. And I think it's about five stories tall. I hope to put a few interiors in and a couple of different apartments. And one of the challenges I've set for myself is trying to build a lampshade for a floor lamp. That should be interesting. So it's going right there, approximately. Exactly how it's going to lay yet, I, I don't know. I won't know until I get the building built. And then I'll figure it out. The wheelhouse is now lighted, and if you look closely, you can see the wheel in the binnacle. I've made some progress on my crane. I now have the uh, two bridge pieces built. All parts of this uh, crane are made of built-up pieces. Those are bars that I bars of plastic that I've glued together. And I was waiting on one of the pieces I needed to make to make these two bridge pieces, and that's uh, what's held me up. The main uh, beams, the rails, remove this so you can see better. Let's see if we can zoom in at all. I think you can see that, that this is a channel, what they call a channel. If you're not familiar with structural steel, uh, you may not have you may not have seen these before. That's what's known as a channel. That one has the legs up; it's laying on its back, and that's the same orientation this piece right here is. And I've glued two bars to the sides of it to form that box beam. It's quite strong, actually. If you are, let me back the camera up just a second. If you are unfamiliar with this plastic material, it's styrene plastic. Only instead of in a kit, it comes in various shapes. Now when you glue it together, you use this particular glue that's meant for it. Regular plastic glue, like you would pla glue together a styrene model, um, it, it won't dissolve it. 
Now, if I put if I put a little on there, and then I come along later and put this piece on here, where are you? won't stick. However, if I set it to where there's pressure holding it down to minimize the gap and paint a little of this material, this glue on the side of it, then sticks it on there. What happens is when there is a very small gap between two pieces and you press them together and you put some of this glue near it, capillary action pulls the glue in and the glue melts the plastic together so it welds it. Now it's not glued down at this end because I wasn't squeezing it down there. I was only squeezing it at this end. So at this stage I could pull it apart but it it has melted it. It won't go back together. As you can see. But it's kind of remarkable stuff. Styrene plastic models, you can paint it on the piece and, and then touch the other piece to it and it's melted a little bit and it'll stick, but not this. So I'm plugging along with this. I, it, I don't know how long it's going to take. It's going to take a while. I'm moving slowly. Um, I, I keep running out of things I need for it. Right now I'm waiting on a, uh, a plastic kit of a crane and I'm going to steal some of the uh, elements off of that kit for this uh, for this crane container crane it's essentially a bridge crane um, um, a moving gantry bridge crane so anyway when it's done it won't be white of course I'm going to paint it I'm going to paint it blue and I have some decals here. I have some GBRF decals for it. And I have a, a large decal, which I'm going to put on a sign right there. A big sign for shipping so that they can see it. That's a GBRF, and it's about that tall. So it would be like a billboard on the on the port, the port side, the water side of the port for passing ships to know that this is where they're trying to get to. Uh, 